In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today is Monday of the fifth week of Easter, and our Mass is being live-streamed to you from within our parish church of St. Dennis in Diamond Bar, California. To prepare ourselves now to celebrate these sacred mysteries, Let us acknowledge our sins, turning to God for his mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your right hand, O Lord, we pray, encompass your family with perpetual help so that defended from all wickedness by the resurrection of your only begotten Son, we may make our way by means of your heavenly gifts through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There was an attempt in Iconium by both the Gentiles and the Jews, together with their leaders, to attack and stone Paul and Barnabas. They realized it and fled to the Lycaonian cities of Lystra and Derbe and to the surrounding countryside, where they continued to proclaim the good news. At Lystra, there was a crippled man, lame from birth, who had never walked. He listened to Paul speaking, who looked intently at him, saw that he had the faith to be healed, and called out in a loud voice, Stand up straight on your feet. He jumped up and began to walk about. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, They cried out in Lycaonian, The gods have come down to us in human form. They called Barnabas Zeus and Paul Hermes, because he was the chief speaker. And the priests of Zeus, whose temple was at the entrance to the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates. For he, together with the people, intended to offer sacrifice. The apostles, Barnabas and Paul, tore their garments when they heard this and rushed out into the crowd, shouting, Men, why are you doing this? We are of the same nature as you, human beings. We proclaim to you good news that you should turn from these idols to the living God who made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in them. In past generations, he allowed all Gentiles to go to their own ways. Yet, in bestowing his goodness, he did not leave himself without witness. For he gave you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons, and filled you with nourishment and gladness for your hearts. Even with these words, they scarcely restrain the crowds from offering sacrifice to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name 
give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory because of your mercy, because of your truth. Why should the pagans say, where is their God? Not, not to, to us, us, O Lord, Lord but to your name give, give the glory. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols all silver and gold, the handiwork of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. Heaven is the heaven of the Lord, but the earth he has given to the children of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. The Holy Spirit will teach you everything and remind you of all I told you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas, not the Iscariot, said to him, Master, then what happened that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him, and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. Yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, every single day is a gift from God. And in the course of a given day, we have opportunities to meet new people. New people bring with them the opportunity of being a possible and potential friend, a good friend, even a best friend. Today, Jesus speaks to us of a divine friend, that Jesus, together with the Father, sends to us all the gift of the Holy Spirit to be our constant companion to be our faithful friend. The Holy Spirit brings us comfort, consolation, and courage. A very simple yet powerful prayer is this. Come, Holy Spirit. When you and I have daily decisions to make, when we find ourselves in difficulty, when we are being tested, tried, and tempted, to be able to say that simple, powerful prayer invites the Holy Spirit to come immediately to our assistance. Today, where do you and I need the help and the consolation of the Holy Spirit? Come, 
Holy Spirit. Trusting in God's constant companion and faithful friend who is the Holy Spirit, let us entrust to our Heavenly Father these prayers of intercession. For the church, that the freedom brought by the resurrection may enable us to live with purpose and help others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> For all healthcare workers and first responders, that God will renew their strength, guide them in their work, and protect them and their families from harm. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, particularly those with COVID-19, that God's healing love will relieve their pain, strengthen their minds and bodies, and restore them to full health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are unemployed, that God will help them to find the resources that they need and open new opportunities for them to use their gifts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are in isolation, that they may find companionship with God through the scriptures. Recall with gratitude all who are significant in their life and encourage others who are alone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our mass intentions, for the intentions of our mothers living and deceased, for repose of the souls of Olga Carmen Lopez and Victor Espino, and for the intention of Yolanda Avila. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, as we anticipate your Son's ascension into heaven and the coming of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost, may we always be mindful of that powerful prayer, Come, Holy Spirit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, 
together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and even pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and, and earth are, are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the in highest. The highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, save us Savior, Savior of the, of the world. world. For, For by, by your, your cross and resurrection, resurrection you, you have, have set, set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all of the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. So my brothers and sisters, aware of our constant companion and our faithful friend in the person of the Holy Spirit, let us pray the words that our Lord has given to us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, will thy will be done, be done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of Lamb God, of God you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take away the, the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, I am worthy, not worthy that, that you, you should, should enter, enter under my roof, roof but only say the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed. healed.
My brothers and sisters, let us now make an act of spiritual communion. And so we say together, My My Jesus, Jesus, I believe believe that that you are are present in the the most most holy sacrament. sacrament. I I love love you above all things, and and I I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this this moment moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this paschal sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen everyone to remind you that we can stay connected and current by going to our website, stdenis.org, that is S-T-D-E-N-I-S dot org, O-R-G. Every day, Monday through Saturday, we have a live streaming mass at 8 in the morning. And then on Sunday... We have two Masses, one at 10.30 in the morning, and then again at 5.30 in the afternoon. So stay connected, stay current, be uplifted and updated by going to our website. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.